Hey guys, in this video I want to tell you how to upgrade an old school carburetor for a classic Soviet Union car Moskvich. It's a new carb called K126N, designed for Uzam 1500 engine. A lot of people find it like a clone of BMW M10 engine. Basics, this carb has 21 mm first barrel and 23 mm in second. This changeable main venturi and this auxiliary venturis I will change. As you can see, auxiliary venturis have really bad design. I will use 23 mm main venturi instead of 21. Also, I will use auxiliary venturis from another Soviet Union carburetor. Technically, it absolutely looks like an old Italian Weber. For this adaptation, I had to make some work with rasp and engraver. And now, this hole is superimpositioned with emulsion tube channel. As you can see, the bottom part of new auxiliary venturi is higher than the factory made it. But it's not a problem, because it installs right in the needed place with 23 mm hole. So, we'll have just needed a velocity in this point. And again, I made some work with RASP for making wings shorter. Thereby, the new auxiliary venturis can be easily installed at the right place with no harmful force. As a nice bonus, now we have a springs, which help to have no leaks between auxiliary venturis and emulsion tube channel. And now about emulsion tubes. I added some additional holes under the factory holes. I made a special position of them to increase the emulsioning effects and make better atomizing. Each additional line is 5 mm lower than previous. Both of them have two holes. Each of additional hole have 0.8 mm diameter. Also, I added a groove to each line of holes. This design should increase the emulsioning effects. The petrol level in flow chamber should be on this line when the engine works. It's 19 mm from the top of this carburetor middle part. Let's check the positioning of emulsion tubes. As we can see, all holes of it will be submerged in petrol. And now something about throttle body. I increased the gap in secondary throttle just a little bit. In my case, 90 degrees of additional regulating screw, and it will not open a hole of transition system. I will use a bad plant positioning of this throttle to take an extra air for idle engine work. Thanks to this, I don't need to make a strong regulating of idle air screw. As you can see, the hole of vacuum light to distributor can be initialized if I will make a strong regulating, and it will broke the ignition adjustment. And some little clarification about main venturis. I checked their sizes and discover that they are different. One of them is 22.9 mm and other is 23.1. So I chose the smaller one for a first barrel. As a result, I will have a faster airflow and better atomiz atomizing on a low RPM. And now something about accelerating pump. I had a few different nozzles of it and I chose the better one. It sprays in front of the throttle axle. So, 
when you make the full throttle, the stream will go right into the intake manifold. It gives us better acceleration. Так что совсем неплохо даже. Струя такая мощная прям. As you know, the K126N carburetors have a constant problems with a cold start. A choke is working badly. So, I took the old style choke throttle with two small air valves and put it into a new type carb. As a result, I have an additional spring valves. If the main system will broke, the second will work. And now I will tell you about jets for this new configuration. In this table you can see planned regulations of the basic K126 and a new one. Their sizes shown in millimeters and in cubic centimeters, which is calculating on a special stand. Shortly. I use a plant recommendations in a second barrel. The first barrel jets have changes in a main fuel jet. Also, I decrease the size of air jet idle system to make it richer. Therefore, car will accelerate without twitches. Owner of this carb confirmed it. So, what we have in the end? First, the cylinders will feeling better almost in the all RPMs. Thanks to bigger first main venturi, we have more max power. Second, better atomization with new auxiliary venturis and tuned emulsion tubes. So, the better engine work. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be happy if you will subscribe my channel and write a comments. See you next video. Wish you all the best.